yo YouTube, thanks for coming over to John Bulak's Arm Wrestling Channel, I appreciate you. Hit that, that bell, like, subscribe, share. Today we're going to go over a really simple trick on how to set up in the straps, uh, specifically setting up, and more specifically if you're a top roller and if you are a strap puller. So, something you're probably not going to get away with in the tournaments, but something you can definitely try and practice the next time you guys have a big pull, or an extra, a big practice. Um, the reason this got me thinking was we have a couple guys, last practice, Joe and Mark, who I got the opportunity to pull both of, and the contrast between the two just kind of threw me off. Had a much easier time going through Joe's fingers than I did Mark's, and so then I figured when they got to the table together, it would be Mark um, with the superior hand uh, strength, vice versa. That was not the case. Um, they got to the straps, and I have said this since for, since day one. Mark is a crazy strong dude, and he is just so strong in the straps. He doesn't have the hand manipulation training yet to be there because he's still green. He's maybe three weeks in. So someone like me, even eight weeks in, nine weeks in, I'm able to use my hand to get out of position, get into better positions to get him to the pin pad. Um, whereas, and he's just flat out stronger than me. So when we put the straps on. I hate it. I hate it. But going back to the tips and trick, I will plug this little video in um, where Joe and Mark pull, but this is where it got me thinking of it, okay? So when you are setting up naturally outside of the straps, you're just going to put your lower body in a position wherever you would naturally arm wrestle for the match. So if you are, um, you know, it's just you, you naturally set your lower body up that way. But uh, our mentor Dustin Allen gave us a little tid tidbit trick that makes a lot of sense. When you're setting up on the strap, you're going to completely engage your pronator. So instead of having your hand flat to gra grasp your opponent, you're going to completely engage your pronator and then turn your body. Okay, So that when that person is putting the straps on you, it looks the same way. You're flat either way. I mean, they don't necessarily know what you're doing. You're carrying on a conversation. You're doing whatever you're doing. Maybe you're checking your cell phone just to kind of play it off, right? But once you, all you do is then once your your pronators engaged, you just adjust your your body back to that table. Now you have the perfect grip. You're probably higher. Your knuckles are probably higher. Your your wrist is in perfect pronation form. So all you've got to do is come back down to that pin pad. Okay. So once again, you're flat. You engage your pronator while turning your body to make it fly. Okay? And if you're really smooth, you're just talking, no one's really paying attention, and you just do it all at once. And they're setting the strap up for you before you even know it. Your your pronator is just locked. And you set that grip and just kabaya! It's that easy. It is that easy. Okay? Here goes the clip of Mark and Joe. Everybody I mean, I'm I'm sad. Sad. Ever since I went the first time, I went to the first time. Yeah, right? It's addicting. Save that for when everybody's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Simple, so technical. Right. Start straighter. Get out of that hook. There you go. There you go. Turn that wrist. You want to stay as high as you can, remember. Nice. Strong as shit. Oh, that shit is tight. It didn't look like it was tight. He's out angling you, Mark. So from the beginning, he's already got you turned. Joe, try to peel him out. Give him an advantageous position. Careful, careful. Watch your hand. <laughs> Good. So let me know what you think, but I just feel like if Mark had that pronator already engaged and was a little bit higher on the wrist, uh, I'm sorry, hands of Joe, it just would have been a little bit of a different story. Not saying that he would have got him, but I don't feel like it would have been so convincingly. When you look at the setup from the initial go, 
uh, Mark is already in a losing position. He already doesn't have his pronator. He's almost in like a hook way where he's got a low top and top rope to get out, where he's much stronger up top. So let me know what you think. If you guys want to see more training videos, more training footage, more in-depth detail stuff like this uh, in the future, comment below. Let me know. Have a good one.